Hi guys, I wanted to come on really quickly and just kind of explain the annotations that you guys are meant to be doing today. Obviously, if you're an online student, you are going to be completing your annotations using the Google form that I attached to the assignment, but either way, you can at least kind of see through this video what we are looking for as we're annotating. So you should have looked over the annotation guide for notice and note. It looks like this. I've kind of got everything compiled on this one page so that I can show you guys what we're doing. Um, but you have these six kind of signpost moments that you're looking for in the story. And on this particular page that I've selected, it's page four of the PDF that we attached. And on this page alone, there's at least three prominent, what we would call memory moments. And then there's a couple again and again moments as well in the in the page here. So um, I'm just gonna kind of go through and show you guys some of those. So you have a couple things that you can fill in on that Google form. You're gonna be responsible for answering the question. I'm gonna point out the moments to you guys just so you can see them. But in terms of the question, the actual annotation that you're gonna be completing, the, the little two sentence response, they the questions are, here on the slide that I have up. And since we're looking particularly on this page, again, it's page four of the PDF that I attached. Um, on this one, we're looking specifically at the memory moment signpost and the again and again signpost. So um, you will be looking to answer the question for memory moment, why might this memory be important? You have to answer that in two sentences. And then for again and again, why does this keep showing up again and again? So I wanna look at the first bit and I'm gonna be trying to draw on the page here, guys. So just bear with me. Um, but the first memory moment that we see, it's not necessarily the first in the story, but um, it's cued to us through the text of uh, the narrator, in this case, the mother in the story. And she uh, is even thinking in her head. She's saying here, how long ago was it that the other house burned? 10, 12 years. Sometimes I can still hear the flames and feel Maggie's arms sticking to me, her hair smoking and her dress falling off her in little black papery flakes. So this is a, a memory. She's talking about it. So all you would do to indicate that you are seeing a memory moment, you would put here, ooh, that's really bad. Um, but you would put an MM there to indicate to yourself that you have a memory moment. And then you would take the time to answer that question for yourself. Why might this memory be important? That's the start of the memory. We go on to hear more about it. And, you know, Maggie's obviously been severely damaged by this fire, but D, as her mother describes, is standing off under the sweet gum tree. She used to dig gum out of uh, with a look of concentration on her face as she watched the last dingy gray board of the house fall in toward the red hot brick chimney. Why don't you do a dance around the ashes? I'd wanted to ask her. She had hated that house or the house so that much. So that's the really significant part of the memory. Maggie's very damaged. D is seemingly almost untouched by the fire, uh, both literally and in a figurative and, and mental sense. So that's a pretty significant memory moment. I want you to decide for yourself um, why that memory is included in the story. What does it tell us about Dee um, and even Maggie and Mama as well? Uh, later down on the page, we have um, an again and again moment. You can underline, let me see if it'll let me do this this way. Oh, that's bad too. But um, like this idea, D wanted nice things. We've seen over and over in the text, this idea uh, presented. So over here in the margin, I would write again and again, again on, again, on yours, you're going to be putting this in on the Google form. You can pick this again and again moment, or you can do another one if you would prefer. But this moment in particular, we see the line saying, D wanted nice things. Prior to that, I had taken note just as I was reading um, about D, uh, you know, hesitation, hesitation was no part of her nature. Uh, earlier on, Mama had said, I am the way my daughter would want me to be. So she's clearly different than the way her daughter um, wants her to be. And uh, it, we said D, or Mama said D thinks orchids are tacky flowers. Um, there's just all these kind of like hints that Mama is giving that D 
not just likes nice things, but like thinks she's better than her family members. So I underline that. I put an AA, like you can see here in the margin. And then the question that you have to answer for again and again is why does this keep showing up again and again? So you need to ask yourself that question. If this were in class, I mean, these kids are going to be writing their responses here. I'll do text, but you know, uh, you could be filling this out and on your form and saying, you know, the author probably repeated this because dot, dot, dot. you fill in the sentence there and add on another sentence kind of elaborating on that idea. So uh, I just wanted to give you guys a chance to understand this in a more uh, obvious way because it's, it's hard when you're online, obviously, or I even had some kids that were absent today. So just to kind of go back through the process and share it with you guys, I am available for tutoring. If you, uh, you know, need additional help on that, just reach out. I have some time this afternoon. I can come on a Google meet if you need my help with that. And always in the mornings, depending on whether you're honors or regulars, uh, there's tutoring available then too. If ever I'm not on, like if the Google meet that says that it's not available at that time, just shoot me an email and I'll respond. Um, I'm going to share this video with Miss Deer and Miss Schott as well. So if you have them as a teacher, then obviously you'd want to reach out to them via email if you have questions or concerns. All righty, guys. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks.